All right, we're going to try to beat Elite Lunarius on Sulphur Springs. So we brought in Geraldo, and I figure between him and a Dart Monkey, they'll probably be able to defend pretty well because the balloons have to do a full loop around each one of these, uh, these little islands. So I think we'll be okay. We're going to put down, I assume, Geraldo next round. Normally, I run Benjamin in boss events. I'm not quite sure what the optimal route is, especially with all the modifiers that have been in the boss events lately, but it's not a big deal. We'll be able to catch up to this $700 price tag pretty soon. I mean, we'll get on like round nine or something. Oh, actually, we're pretty close. Maybe I waited an extra round. Um. So once we get the NFT... We can either go for a bank or just some easy, there we go, marketplaces. All right. Got on round six. I think we could have put Geraldo down around early. That's yes, I mean. What are you going to do? So from here, let's just get a bunch of marketplaces. That's the easier route. I assume we'll be able to defend with just this. And then we have to decide if we want to go a turret or a submarine. So the goal of this run is to get an Apex Plasma Master, because I heard he goes crazy on this map, and then to get a Nautic Siege Core, because it's the new Paragon. So let's work on farming so that we can afford both. I mean, most boss events, we can get three or four paragons so i'm sure we'll be fine there's not we could, we might be able to boat farm that's tempting that's really tempting my thing is we wouldn't have room to put our subs so that might be an issue because i bet we could only fit about 20 boats if we used all the space because you can't put um, so you can put water monkeys in the rivers and then the middle island, but you can't put them in either of the springs. You can't put anything in there. So I don't know how much room there actually is. All right, let's get this guy down, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Um, I guess we can just go with a turret. I wonder if we can get away and eh, let's just get it done now. Okay, nice. I was hoping we could fit things around the rim. Looks like you could. Can we fit like a... Oh, there's plenty of room. Nice. That's clutch, actually. Okay. That should be plenty of defense for a while. I mean, round 15 will test us. Something might get through there, but other than that, we should make it a while. Just go a bunch of... Uh, I'm thinking like three 200 villages, then... Er, uh, farms and then sneak in a village maybe <laughs> that way the constant uh money will let us be able to get the balloon trap and whatever else we want now that i'm thinking about it this is kind of where i want to put my engineer so oh but if we get the minneapolis we can affect our balloon trap there okay i'm back in this is a good idea all right, this map will be fun for bosses. I like it already. Put you down. Nice. So I think we could afford a bank at this point pretty easily. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Not get a bank, I guess. All right, let's get greater production. Now we might need to get something else. So I think since we'll get a selling bank, Boat. Oh, do I just get the engineer now? Probably. Since we're leaking. If you're not leaking, you're not trying, though, so. Get in. Should help out a ton. All right, now let's get another, or another farm. I keep wanting to say village. I don't know why. I'm just going to let that guy leak. Can we fit in a village right here? No, that's borderline tragic. 
Anyway. Oh, oh, I guess we can. Oh, we can really squeeze. Okay. Let's um. Try to leave room for a village, maybe right there. It's not super important, but it would be, would be nice. Just because of where we put the engineer probably wasn't the best play. Oh, we need um this guy ASAP. I don't know if we left enough time to get it. But hopefully we'll be okay. We need to get a thousand more dollars. I mean we can always sell. That guy sells for enough. Alright, well. Rip the engineer. Lead to gold is much more important for now. And we can get him back. In that beautiful spot. There we go. That was worth it. Probably. Now we can get our village. If we need more help, we can get a, um, we can get double gun, but ideally we can get that after the double discount. Make some marketplaces. Maybe only one, actually. Because we're going to want to get the balloon trap. Hmm. Calculated. Um, that's like super far up. We'll go like right there. I don't know if they're going into the trap or if he's getting them. I guess uh, move it up a little bit. All right, he he was going into the trap. Good. All right, we're fine. It ever fills up. That's tempting. Can we fit another in? Oh, okay. Yeah, then we are definitely going to get this farmer. Huge for the program. All right, let's uh, get that. <laughs> And then, I don't know if we'll want it. We're going to go for it. It's like, I don't know if we're going to want another. But I figure we'll get a marketplace. Get our rubber to gold. I actually might not even get a rubber to gold because of how far up this guy is. Might not be worth it. Might have to sell this guy. Um, that's for 13k already. That's wild. I don't really know how I want to pop the boss. Tax him will kind of go crazy. Um, that's really all I have. Oh, what am I doing? Should have had that last round. Oh, well. Get you. Um, oh my goodness, and we still have this. Okay. All right, let's do it. I'm crazy. Like that. Oh, should have left enough room. Oh, well. Not ideal. All right, let's get two more glaives. Oh, glaive ricochet got a lot cheaper. Okay. That's kind of cool. I'm going to be honest, we might leak here. We're going to have to 
Oh, I think... I mean, it must have got a lot... A lot worse. With how cheap it is now. Okay. I mean, this is fine. I guess. We're kind of shredding now. And it's not even in, like, the optimal spot. So that's good. I guess we didn't need two more glaives. Nice. Why are you... Oh, we lost the spot because of... We lost the village. That makes sense. All right, we popped it around 44. We can get this guy back. Sell, sell. Which then means we can get you. Oh, no. All right. Exit to home. I want to place down my engineer first. Make sure there's room there. Um, there we go. Do something like that. Get the discount. Then get this guy. Sell, sell. Um, one, two, three, four. Put you up there. Oh, we are going to be pushing it for money. Dang, are we really going to sell this boat right away? I guess so. At least we have enough space up here. Uh, and then for defense, I'm thinking we just go bang, bang. Oh, we don't have to worry about mobs anytime soon. Which is super nice. But we can go like this. Nice. I assume they're getting trapped first. It's, um, I can't even see. But hopefully they're getting trapped. It looks like the trap is open. Uh, might have been a misplay to defend how we're doing it, but hopefully it all works out. I want to get an overclock, but we might have to get something else first just to play it safe. Oh, heck yeah. We remembered fertilizer. Are you kidding me? I'm a new man. We'll get that um, just because we only have one of these guys. All right, let's get overclock. And then I'm crazy. We're going to use a tech bot. Link you. Do I want a boat farm? I'm very, very tempted to. But I think we'll just save room for our subs. Kind of lame. I know. But I think it'll be okay. Oh my goodness, we didn't have the money for it. Oh, there we go. Didn't realize we skipped that one. This is crazy. We're making money so fast. I guess I should have got a discount village. I didn't realize we'd be placing them so fast. Eh. It's only around 51 and we already have this much. Maybe I should have boat farmed. Oh well. All right. So the game plan for here, I believe, is just a mad. 
a mad and a glaive lord keep as many farms as we can there we go can we oh sad i probably barely missed out on it too now we could move over to the left side of the screen but i think we're just gonna one fertilize i think we're just gonna upgrade these ones in range of the monkeyopolis you know seems easier less work more fun especially if we can get it before this round end oh we're not going to Rip. all right we did that a lot faster than i thought we would so let's come over here now what i think i'll do is get the i could set something up let's go like this Oh, I didn't realize we'd go. Wow, okay. So we got that. We can get this guy, get jungle drums. Lock you up there. Um, we can get one more, I guess. And then we'll give him his own personal alchemist. And then we'll sell as few as possible. To make him a mad. Sell all of the, these guys that are outside the range of the monkeyopolis. There we go. And then I would love a glaive lord would make my day um look at that what a beaut it's round 59 some people dude that's only mildly embarrassing uh, fertilizers probably up to, up. yeah, classic. All right, well now, considering we could already afford that, we got a whole nother round. There we go. Now let's just get another one of these. That works for me. Overclock. Boom. Is there anything else we need? I don't think so. I think we're good to go. Might not have even needed to make like a glaive lord. They're not getting close. Use that. Absolutely smoking them. I guess we got to use this ability again. Round 63, not a worry in the world. That's rare. All right, overclock you. Should pop this before 63 is over. Yo, oh, sad. Sell, sell, sell. Keep the Glaive Lord just in case. Sell you. Oh, my God. Goodness, look at that money. Really want an ultra boost, but I think I'll hold off. Gonna at least fill out this range. One, two, three, four. Now the smart play would be to get more overclocks. I don't think I'm gonna though. 
seems like a lot of work instead what i think i'm gonna do is get this guy down i lied we'll get we'll get a dart monkey and then just fill this pool with submarines five six seven eight Oh, I feel like we could have gotten nine, but I will sell this one and put it in the middle so it looks cooler. Um, Give them an alchemist. Get a second tech bot. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a nice spot for it. All right. And then, I mean, we're probably good on defense for a little bit it's only around 65. So this is what i'm thinking this guy we wait till his ability is halfway done so then we overclock again and then we link it boom you want two overclocks on this guy so that he's boosted 100 percent of the time and then we'll just go back down here Something along like these lines. Oh, look at that. Oh, absolute money. Okay. We did it. Okay. Now let's just work on upgrading all of them. It was like super unnecessary to pre-place all those, but it was fun. So I should have just spent money on overclocks to make our BRFs better, but that's less fun. All right, get this BRF. So I figure we'll probably get all these up and running. Slowly turn or then get the Big monkey opus. Maybe we'll get the overclock first. Or the ultra boost first. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Although we're kind of hauling right now. Oh, we might have to work on defense, I guess. Maybe. Not really sure how long three uh, APD subs will hold up. Because normally we have a... Um, sub commander by this round oh level 82 huge all right let's get a sub commander that was easy and then i guess i'll just get the ultra boost I feel like that's an easy play. Uh, cancel this guy. While we save up the money. Or save up, yeah. While we wait for his cooldown to come off, we'll just overclock you. Has 100% uptime, so I'm not worried about doing that so early in the round. Oh my goodness, maybe I, I am. Didn't realize we could get a full overclock off in time. 74 lasts so long. All right, so we go from here. You're overclocked. I doubt we can fit a village. Unfortunate. Um, sell you, make you obviously get this guy back. 77k holy cow all right try to get oh i did not place that one very well doesn't matter i didn't see how much that upgrade cost but we had this section pretty filled out so i think we'll be able to notice if we're missing one we definitely had one here here and then yeah okay we're good we're chilling 74. 
All right, I would love to have a Paragon for 80. So maybe we'll just chill. No. Um, go back to tech botting that guy. There we go. Beautiful. I mean, now all I want is a special operations to fly around our farmer, but for now, I guess we'll be okay. Uh, I think what we'll do actually. Start getting some pops. It's like nothing. We make so much money per round. I would love to get the Apex Plasma Monster back here, but it's going to take so long for Blue Aries to get in range. Maybe we'll just make a cheap one to beat them really fast and just see how it goes. You know? All right. Um, that's not the right one. Um, Ultra Jug. Around 79. We just need to get up to 150k. Oh, but we also need to sacrifice some upgrades. It's just such cheap degrees to do it this way, you know? Get 25 dart monkeys down. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25. So if you didn't know, you can just get down 25, 0, 2, 2 dart monkeys for just so cheap. And you meet, uh, you max out a category of power for paragons, which is sacrificing 100 upgrades. And like the power per dollar spent is so good. All right. So we need 50k and then we'll build it on this guy. Jeez, we're gonna get that almost instantly. Boom. Look at that. Degree 30. Oh my goodness, look at the screen. Alright, yeah. Uh we'll just keep you on strong because the bounces are gonna pop everything, but just in case they don't. I don't know how they wouldn't pop everything, but we'll get a Glaive Lord at the back. We're going to pop tier three so fast. Fast forward is on slow. All right. Get the Apex Plasma Master, apparently. Holy cow. Speed it up just to pop the bads. Uh, get rid of you. And I just want... Oh, we can... Oh, we haven't been fertilizing and we're this rich. So here's the thing. We're going to get the NFT down. And then we'll get a crossbow master just for some pops and mostly for vision of our subs. All those are upgraded now. I want to get an energizer right here. Then I think we're good. I think we're just gonna fill out the map with some farms. That's sad. I mean, we could probably put down a nice monkey and make room for another, but what fun is that? Just make this guy. Oh, once we get the money. Make that guy. Nice. Can we fit a helicopter here or here or here? Helicopter is too thick. Hmm? Ah, oh, but we can fit a farm there. 
Yay. No. So happy we could fit a helicopter and not a farm. But I think if we really squeeze. There we go. So the reason I wanted this was to just make our farmer a bit better. You know? So a monkey farmer has pretty limited range, but what we can do once we have the money is make a special pop operations and pick him up. Fly him around. That way he'll pick up more presents for us. I don't know why cross pads are like that, but it has better blowback, but we're not going to be using it for that. Special pop operations. Pick up the farmer. And I think we can just spend money to level him up. How, much, how many rounds are left? Can't see. Oh, well. All right, and now we just get down totem. Uh, one totem every round. I guess we can get down the bunny. We love Hopsy Flopsy Button and Dave, so. And with the leftover money, well, first of all, you need to remember to collect those presents. We need to do that. And I think what we'll do is just get down some boats. Oh, we're going to have to sell these to place more subs. I guess we'll just get down some subs. Get some pops for the boys. There we go. Gotta love that monkey knowledge point that gives the sub commander buff to everything. So we'll want a preemptive strike. I guess we'll just put it near the front by the energizer. And then the rest of these will become uh, APDs. I know buying first strikes would be like more money spent which is always nice but uh i think they get more pops so i make them two zero fours you know there's one in there and then maybe one more let's go let's collect crates do we have a totem no oh is the farmer on the right getting everything because that's huge all right, get you 400k. All right, we can handle that. Nice. All those guys are already upgraded. And then what I think I'll do. Oh, we can't fit in another heli pilot all right well let's buy this totem hopefully we can go all the way around um let's put down the farmer i can manually collect for a while because i'm i can handle that and then we'll make a perma brew and fly him around it's my new plan it's only around 86 and we have the whole map covered it's not too bad perma brew wait till the whole Middle section is but oh we need to slow down and get some totems. I actually hit play instead of slow down. Whoops. Forgot how fast run 87 is. Alright. And 85. We can speed back up. I don't think we missed one. Might have. Alright. Let's slow you down. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of these guys. Move you over here. Buff a lot of them. Maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh, just in case something gets really far. We'll get the crossbow master back there. Maybe we'll get the apex plasma master at the very back. Just so we can do most of the damage with the Nautic Siege Core, but I mean, after seeing how crazy the Apex Plasma Master went, it's kind of kind of hard to turn down. All I'm saying is everything buffed. No. All right. Well, then we'll move you up a little bit. Probably should have done that from the beginning. 
I'll buff all the subs. You down. We can get the other two bunnies. Will they get pops? Yes, but it's 100% worth it. 600k, so we can already afford the Nautic Siege Core. Debating. If we're gonna... Yeah, we'll get it for the Tier 4. We'll get it for the Tier 4. Um... Can we move this guy in a good spot? Yeah, yeah, we can. Easy enough. Get our totem, get our fertilizer, start buffing these guys. I like our little ring of totems that we're making. All right. And we can pick up the farmer. Oh, no, we have to move you one last time. Get you down there. And then we can pick our farmer back up. And everyone will be happy. So, if we sell the NFT, I think we already have enough to max out our sub. Of sacrifices it'll just be we won't have too many totems which i think is fine so let's um pick up the farmer nothing has even made it to the traps yet that's kind of crazy uh will we get fertilizer back this round no probably next round then Nice. Probably next round then. <laughs> All right, it's round 98. So we have one more round to go before the boss. Oh, we're not gonna finish our cute little ring. There we go. What we could do, I don't know if I'm feeling this crazy could wait like a round or two get some extra pops because i mean we're only sitting at like a milli so we could wait two rounds finish the ring because it would look cool and then make the nautic siege core i think that's what we're gonna do because that will be fun to watch just have to make sure we don't miss it might as well use the ability oh all right, I'm a little afraid. It's okay, we can always continue, I suppose. All right, one more round. Round 102, please start. Nice. There, we finished our ring. Make this guy max it out easily. I lied. Where's the NFT? Sell you. Now we'll have enough. Yeah, we were not maxing it out. Oh, if you didn't know better, you'd think I planned it. Let's go. All right, let's get this guy. Make sure we don't leak. And I don't know if we can put him on strong, because I would love to just have him target the boss, but we don't have a paragon at the back. So I think we'll just leave him on first. He's doing just fine on first. So holy cow, he's already at three and a half million pops. I guess he's degree 80. So let's um not forget to put down totems. Wowza, okay. Oh, we can't put down the NFT yet? Sad. Send that. And I think we can just fast forward. All right, that's huge. Degree 80, you'll love to see it. Oh, definitely by the totems. Definitely put this on there. This is back in stock. Noise. I mean, super sketchy because we only have one Paragon, but it's worth. Round 
Round 107 star. Oh, let's go. Okay. So here's the plan. I think we're going to boat farm just for the pops. We're going to fill this up with the three main boats, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There, all right. Those are the three main boats. Then we're going to farm with the rest solely to get them extra pops because I think they'll have a really hard time competing with the degree 80 sub paragon for pops. So we're just going to get some boats. It won't be too many. Like the grand scheme of things are only going to make like $10,000 each, but it counts for upgrades, counts for money spent. And we're going to max out the slider anyway. So making them um, the top path wouldn't really do much. First off, we submerge this, right? We get the cooldown. Can we get two energizers? I know it would make like the monkey knowledge go away, but yeah, sad. Anyway, come back up. We need you for your damage, not the submerged right now. Two, three, oh. Nice, we camped before. Beautiful. Um, oh, we'll have to move. We'll have to from a brew, at least the middle, the middle um, island. But just like that, we're rich again. All right. I don't think we're getting many pops. That's okay. We can just... Let's go. All right. Where's you? Cancel you. Take about the Pirate Lord. Heck yeah. Noise. Oh, we can submerge him. And then maybe be able to defend with our boats. You're saying there's a chance. Let's move you over here. Put down our two totems. Almost didn't remember in time because I was distracted. Collect everything. Oh, and then we just have an overclock. All right. And then overclock this guy. All right. If they make it around the big loop, we'll unsubmerge this uh, our paragon. But I think with a super strong energizer, this does more damage than a normal energizer. We should be okay. Now we just have to pick up the farmer again. There we go. Sure. Oh, did they change sharpening stone? How do we put it on this guy? I mean, sometimes. That would be a cool change. That was a cool find. All right, let's make sure we have this. Well, now I want to test everything. How long does pickles last? Five rounds, dang. Can't win them all. Anyway, uh, what were we going to do? Totem. Use that. We get nine more totems, and then we'll also have a Navarch of the seas. <laughs> all right. It's getting tons of pops let's see how many all right i mean he's getting a few thousand a second that's about as fast as our carrier flagship and he's only on submerge mode i mean i'll take that all day gives everything else around it a ton of pierce that's what this buff is i actually don't know how much pierce it is especially since we got a degree 80 i don't know but it's got to be at least one. You know? GTs are getting melted. Oh, I suppose they get, they get uh, energized and then this guy can hit them. Um, we're going to keep overclocking you. What is that cool, shiny buff? That's wild. That is the sharpening stone. Duh. It looks cool, though. Have you ever seen a totem on top of the flagship? Wait till next round when we get another one. 
kind of want to use the final strike ability all right 15 second countdown i don't think it can attack or be submerged during this time so it's just 15 seconds of doing nothing we oh, okay good it does go into the next round boom and then it puts radiation everywhere so now look at its pops yeah it's, it's the radiation's uh getting all the damage that's probably on me shouldn't have done that oh oh there we go bam put him up top beautiful all right that's cool i wonder how long the radiation lasts does it last the last over or around okay so it's just time based my random guess 60 seconds all right put you there overclock you still five rounds left on the sharpening stone you love to see it okay those ddt's made it far if i could find my mouse i would un we're just gonna unsubmerge this guy there we go and then i think we'll be okay believe it or not i think we'll be able to defend Look at how many rockets he's shooting that apparently airburst. They're airburst rockets. On top of the fact that he has a stronger preemptive strike. Not bad. Can we see the preemptive strike go off? Or are we we might be popping them too early where he's not even preemptive striking. All right, we're going to put him on strong just to get ready for the boss. All right, and then we have one more round. Oh, we could have made a helicopter. Rip. Oh well. So this is what I'm thinking. We sell everything but the boats and the dart monkeys and Geraldo. So we can get rid of this guy too. We can get down in two more totems. We can make you 2.2 total. Oh, nice. We'll still have room. We will still have money for the dart paragon. 77, dang. We were close. Uh, close to another 80. That would've been sweet. I do think if we submerge him, he does get the buff though. I think it's just a, it's just the cooldown buff of the energizer. He does not get the pierce buff that, all right, let's put him in submerge mode. If he got the pierce buff, it would look like that. And he does not get that. But it's cool. We have another buff of paragons, but we don't need the pull of this fight. So we'll just do that. And then to lock up the end, we'll get our other tier five towers. And then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's enough. We'll just spend down to 150K or just all of these because I would like, I guess I can just get this first. We will get, oh, put them on the, put the ice on the perch. Get a super brittle with three freeze, the mouth. And then. Cripple mob on strong. Nice. And now we can see what this guy gets. I mean, three paragons, a degree 80, a 77. And then, ooh. All right, good enough. Unless we sell him. That'd be funny. All right, we do this. Spend all, oh look, we get so many increments of $1. Zoom. Should be a 40 something. 50, all right. There we go, you boys ready? Hit play and see how we do. Keep this guy on strong. I'm so tempted to do the final strike. All right, I will. This guy's on first. So is the Apex Plasma Master. Ooh, those those DDTs spawn so close. Look how much that did. Did like a full skull. Keep you on strong. The radiation, I think, is going to go crazy. Look, it's all the way over here. 
That's going to pop so many DDTs. Oh, we still have an Ultra Boost. We could have made our guy stronger. We forgot to sell those. All right, well, I guess we'll just boost those two. They're hidden up top. Forgot about them. Oh, well. Did we get a genie? Nah, we're chilling. All right, I don't think we're going to use our ability again. Oh, he's still, he just finished the first small loop and we're almost done. Okay. We'll take that. But there we go, boys. Final skull. See how fast we pop everything? We don't even have a final strike back up. And there we go. All right, Bunari's defeated. The sub paragon took the damage. 35 million to 21 million to 2 million. Not really fair because we got these guys on the last round, but still 35, basically 36 million. Not bad. Not bad at all. 